Hello, everybody. This is Darren Redman for Redman's Wrap-Up, brought to you by FHT Sports. It is about 11.30 in the evening, Saturday, December 1st. What a Mountain West Championship culmination it was on ESPN. Prime time. Anyway, you went in Fresno. Uh, somebody was looking at the television or listening to a radio or following a Twitter feed. Vengeance, the exorcism was executed tonight. None of that nonsense about the turf, nobody cares. Because that's just stuff that you let live in your head rent free. Never let anything live in your head rent free. Turf doesn't throw balls. Turf doesn't tackle. Turf doesn't block. It's just nonsense. So I didn't even bring it up. And obviously the Fresno State coaching staff and players didn't care about that as well. I'll get in a minute. I'll get. I'll get to in a minute how the weather actually helped Fresno, uh, but when you want to win a championship, besides being ready, ex- well coached, and and Coach Tefford and his staff, they're champions for a reason. They are probably the best around, and uh, we are so blessed to have the coaches that we have here in Fresno, uh, and specifically in this case, with Fresno State. With a, with a hockey team as well, with Kill Kaminsky. But right now I'm focusing on Fresno State Bulldog football. And tomorrow I'll talk about basketball. We're blessed. We have some great coaches. So how do you win a championship? You need your frontline players, for lack of a better term, your frontline players to perform as they do. Don't let the moment get too big. But they perform. I love the fact, kind of a subset to that is when Quick had that fumble, Oh, here we go again. Here are the demons. That stuff doesn't exist. It's about making plays, about stoppage, about controlling the ball, and taking their will. And what I loved after that fumble was there was no finger pointing. There was no kicking things. There was no punching, punting nets. I was like, no, we got this. We just need to make a stop. And that's what you saw. That's what you saw. You saw one big play. You saw one big play. Uh, running back. Close to, uh, he had 200 yards. I don't know how he came back and he came with concussion protocol. That's that's a subject for another day. Linebackers, as we talked about uh, before the, uh, the game a couple of days ago and even yesterday, about that the linebackers were going to make a big difference, and they did. And again, they're, they're not in a vacuum. You know, they're they're, they're not in a, in a vacuum because your defensive line needs to be occupying the offensive line, and they certainly were. Big old ninety nine had a great game, an unbelievable game. Your safeties were coming up and they were hitting. I was like, who's this? Is that running a lot? Over and over, and that's not hyperbole. This was old school football, snowing, crisp, cold air, and just a defensive show. And the offense playing well. Keyshawn Johnson was Keyshawn Johnson. The man looked like he could run for miles. Mox McMarion did what he had to do controlled the ball, controlled the flow. Unbelievable option read at the end when the, the defense for Boise in overtime was biting down hard and Ronnie Rivers. I mean, what a great first of all, Ronnie was supposed to play this year. And he comes out and he plays and has probably one of the biggest cutbacks I've seen. That play took guts, and you need guts when you want glory. Defender goes one way, Marcus McCarran's taking it. If not, Ronnie Rivera's gonna do what he needs to do. And go to pay, pay dirt. So, but what else do you need to win a championship? You need, you know, in, in, in hockey, it's called the fourth line players or third line players. They're important parts of the team, but they don't get to play much. But when they're out there, they need to shine. And you cannot win a championship without everybody contributing. This game goes to Jared Rice. Overtime, what a clutch pay, what a clutch catch. Clutch catch, brings him to the nine-yard line. Let's go. You know, you look at uh, James Bailey had a great game. I mean, and he's a starter and, and gets a lot of time. But just a great game. And, and sorry, I'm looking down at my notes. You know, what could you say about Matt Botang? And other than, it's called special teams for a reason. Oh, you, you just play, they just play in the special teams. They're not a starter. Uh, well, yeah, first off, they are a starter. They play in the special teams. And even if you're a backup on a special team, everybody is important. 
every piece. So when you can have your second, third, fourth string, your people who play on special teams, understand and focus that they can be the difference. Why, wow, Matt? I mean, unbelievable, right? There's some people who might say, well, he didn't actually block the missed field goal. Yeah, he did. Well, they never touched him. doesn't matter. What he did, whether he, he, he hit it or not, was he made the field goal kicker rush and augment what he was willing to do. Listen, I, I look, I know these are college athletes, and I think it was number 86 on Boise. I'm not sure. But let me tell you something. I hope this guy has, has like a, a notebook and a pen and a pencil because Matt just schooled him, schooled him, and then had the big block to keep the game tied. Maybe we're not winning this championship. Fresno State's not winning this championship unless that happens. And then again, he almost got to the ball. Schooled him. 86 wanted no part of him. So, you know, so you see those things happen. And, you know, again, um, you know, uh, Jared Rice's clutch catch in overtime. Let's talk just a, a, a little bit. Oh, before I do that, I want to thank Chicken Noodle Soup. Chicken Noodle Soup is one of uh, our followers at FHT on our vlogs. And uh, we only grow because of the community that we're in. Chicken Noodle Soup, great job uh, reminding me that Mims was not playing today. I was hoping that he was, quite frankly, uh, for a couple of reasons. Uh, I bet I bet the wrong way, it turns out. I thought they were keeping him out so he could play and kind of send a mixed signal so Boise might be distracted and, and think that he wasn't playing. And then uh, he, he'd come in, he didn't play. And Chicken Noodle Soup, thank you for letting us know. And that's how we grow, right? We all share and we grow. You know, uh, so if you look at Asa Fuller, he, str- he has his struggles. But you know what? You can't unscramble an egg. And in sports and in life and in building companies, you, you just you have to ignore negativity and you have to embrace creativity. And you have to be able to see that you're going to be able to do it. So if I told you that... Money, Fuller was going to be on his two field goals in, at the time, big time snow, big time snow, and and one of, one of the my, my Twitter posts, his second one's like bend him like Beckham, wow that thing had some English on it, got it done, got it done, great job, great job, and, and the last person I want to talk about uh, you know, today is uh, uh, Blake Cusick. This gentleman in a battle of field position. It was so great to watch this game. It was, like, it was like watching the games from the late 70s, early 80s, where it's a defensive struggle and the offenses are playing really well. We play, you know, Fresno State played great on offense. And I say the word great because if you've never played in a driving snowstorm, it's not easy. It's not easy to grip the ball. It's not easy to throw the ball. It's not easy to, to uh, be able to do some blocking assignments. Played great. And the defense played great. I think the snow helped Fresno State in this way. There was some concern, and rightly so, about the about the noise level. And I think what happened, and it's no excuse either way, you play when you play, right? But I think the noise was abated because people stayed home because of the snow. Well, it's on ESPN. You can't be a bigger game. Why fight the traffic, danger of getting in an accident, uh, this or that, we're, we're going to a bowl anyway, uh, let's just stay home. Because that was not a full stadium. And, you know, Boise, I expect a little better than that. But that's that's a time for a different day, I, I get it. But I think the fact that people stayed home helped us. It wasn't a loud stadium. It got a little loud toward the end when it looked like they were going to take the lead. But the minute, again, you know, the, the, the minute uh, Matt Boateng uh, made that block, they shut up. It takes a full team to win championships. And what you saw was some seniors who refused to lose. You saw some richer freshmen. You saw people like Ronnie Rivera was not supposed to play this year. Some great coaching. You saw some great desire. You saw a defensive line teeing off. You saw an offensive line give Mark McGarren a lot of time. A lot of time to good blocking schemes. And you saw a team that refused to lose. So great job, Fresno State, 1916 overtime victory. This is Darren Redman for Redman's Wrap-Up, brought to you by FHT Sports. Let us know what you think. What were your thoughts? On to the bowl game. Let's find out where they're going. Probably Vegas. 
Are they playing Arizona State? We'll find out. Darren Redman, FHT Sports. Congratulations, Fresno State, Mountain West Champions, 2018.